We got a nice letter earlier on from Ponty Prid, Mid Glamorgan in South Wales. Uh, Stuart Watkins has written to us, asking us uh, to make his dream come true. That's to be shipwrecked, shipwrecked and casted away on an island. Signed, yours sincerely, Stuart Watkins. Right, well, that's uh, no great problem for the Saturday show, but the thing is this, there are islands and islands. Ahoy, shipmates, and listen to me tale of young Stuart, who was cast away upon a desert island and who spent many a long day by himself a dreaming of rescue. Twas on a traffic island he'd been marooned, right in the middle of the main road, 52 degrees north of the equator. Each day, he'd walk out to the old wreck on the leeward side of the island, hoping against hope to find something he'd missed. Something that would help him get off the island and return him once more to civilization. And then, one day, me hearties, at eight bells, just as he'd finished writing in his log, he explored a different part of the island, and he found something upon the ground. Twas a fresh footprint. Whose could it be? Maybe it belonged to a merciless savage in native costume who was out on the warpath. He was right all at once, shipmates. He clapped his eyes on the most dreaded sights of the high street. As she circled the old rack, Stuart realised he was no longer alone on the island. <laughs> His plight were mighty perilous. Shiver me timbers and wake me windscreens, he thought. I must make me escape from the island and cast off as quickly as I can before I'm caught. Making his way to the highest point on the island, he signalled desperately, hoping that a sharp-eyed lookout would spot him on the horizon. But alas and alack, there were not a sail in sight. Wearily, he wandered on the windward side of the island, when all of a sudden, he espied something that gave him an idea. Yo-ho-ho ho, and a bottle of pop, he thought. I found a way of getting off this island. I'll send a message in a bottle. Help, he wrote. I am marooned on an island south by southwest, just off the motorway. P.S. The natives are not friendly. His plan was underway. But would it work? As luck would have it, shipmates, Dame Fortune smiled upon him. He was spotted by a passing sea scout. His months of endless waiting were at an end. As he climbed aboard ship, Stuart gave thanks that his ordeal was over and that he'd been rescued in the nick of time from a fight too horrible to think about. Nautical adventure though, that I can tell you Santa enjoyed as well. Look. And uh, as an extra sort of tiny little surprise, Santa, Stuart's going to receive as a souvenir of that adventure on, uh, on behalf of us, he's going to receive a Saturday show star video. <laughs> so, Stuart Watkins, star of the moment, stand up and take a bow, sir. <laughs>